Now for this first part then we're asked to find the speed of the particle p when t equals 4 and we're given the velocity vector v as 2ti minus 3t squared j meters per second. So if we're to find that speed, speed is the magnitude of v, so we first of all find out v when t equals 4. So a starting point then is when t equals 4, v will equal, and if we substitute 4 into here we're going to get 8i there, and for the second term we've got 4 squared which is 16, minus 3 times 16 is minus 48, so you've got minus 48j. Okay, that's the velocity vector. Now to get the speed, the speed is the magnitude of velocity, and we can get that magnitude by applying Pythagoras' theorem to this. It's going to be the square root then of the sum of the squares of the components. So it'll be 8 squared plus and then 48 squared. And if you work this out in your calculator, you find you get 48.662 and so on. And if we round this to say three significant figures, we're going to get 48.7. And that'll be measured in meters per second to three significant figures. Okay, so that's part A then of this question.